Hi there, in today's short video I'm going to go through a, another use for the domino bass support bracket that I was reminded of recently. That's coming up next. You know, I think I've said before that one of the great things about doing a YouTube channel is you guys, the interaction that I have with, with my audience, uh, with my commenters, with my subscribers. Uh, overwhelmingly positive, often funny, and frequently very, very useful. You, know, you act as a, as a great sounding board for all manner of things that I've either forgotten about or don't know. Uh, I had a comment recently, uh, I did a, a little video about uh, making a jig. I wanted to put a domino at a 25 mil centre when I was doing these face frames. And I made a little jig to do that because it was quick and easy to do. And subscriber Matt Eason uh, reminded me in the comments, he said, did it need to be 25 mil or would 20 mil have, have done? I'd have preferred it to be 25, but 20 mil would have done actually. Um, uh, but he reminded me that the domino base support bracket, this little thing, uh, has some little flip down stops on it that will center a domino at 20 mil. And I'd completely forgotten about this. I've never actually used those. I only ever used this as a support bracket and uh, I didn't find it be, to be particularly good. And it's it's been sat on a shelf since I got my dummy plate, to be honest. But I thought I'd just pop this on and give it a go uh, and see how well it works. So the support bracket just attaches onto the base of the domino using these two screws here. And the idea behind it was that it adds a little bit of extra support, particularly for when you're doing, uh, putting a domino into the bottom face of a board. So if the side of a carcass, for example, you end up with very little of the actual base on the material. And the support bracket gives a little bit more stability to the base whilst you're making those cuts. What it also has though is a couple of flip down stops and these stops effectively extend the reference points of the pins or paddles inboard a little way so it centers the domino 20 mil away from the edge of the board. Now fairly obviously there's a couple of limitations on this. Uh, obviously the uh, unlike the pins or paddles on the domino, they're not automatically retracting, so you have to switch these in and out manually depending on whether you're using the left or right side of the board, which is hardly an onerous task. Uh, the other thing you need to watch out for is that if you do use the widest setting, it's going to bring it pretty close to the edge of the board. So just take care, especially if you're using a bigger cutter. It might, uh, I haven't tried it, but it might, might get very close to blowing out the edge of the board. Uh, but what a great idea. It's certainly an idea that I hadn't thought of or come across or had forgotten about with the Domino base support bracket. Uh, they're very cheap, or they were when I bought mine, I think about £15, so it may well be worth investing, even if you don't want to use it for its intended purpose. Uh, but thanks to Matt for pointing that out to me, and for reminding me of that, uh, and thanks for watching, and that's it for this week, and I'll see you next time. Take care.